All right. Good evening, folks. How's it going out there? Welcome back here to a Saturday night, 740 p.m. California time, June 28, 2025 is the date. Latest activity here shows a decent earthquake coming into the California region right now with a 4.9 earthquake being recorded around the Big Pine area. Eastern side here of the state of California. Waiting for this to come back online. These are the live seismograph stations here. Um, so we'll watch this off to the side, but uh, it looks as though there was a 3.1 here just a few minutes prior to this 4.9 uh, across the plate boundary. Literally due east, uh, we get this 4.9. That's a sign here of pressure building out there across the San Andreas Fault. And of course, I've been talking about this a lot, how we're uh, coming up for uh, at least a six-pointer on the San Andreas Fault, the, the uh, Parkfield segment, which sits a little bit further down here. But uh, every 22 years or so, we get a six-pointer. But anyway, uh, decent earthquake. It looks like they just downgraded that to a 4.8. Um, still no seismograph stations up there. Let's go ahead and check this out, see what we have uh, far as the information goes. Still sitting at an automatic status, so this has not been reviewed by a seismologist. Um, we can look at the magnitudes here and see what they're uh, reporting. 43 stations with a fairly simple error rate of 0.2, uh, but no stations contributed. Okay. <laughs> That's a little odd. Normally you can access this and uh, see what uh, the, you know, the seismograph stations are spitting out as far as the data goes. Uh, so we'll have to check back on that. Um, not for sure if we got population density out there. It's well east of Fresno on the, again, over the Sierra Nevada mountains, uh, across the area of the desert out there in the, uh, uh, this area of California, very close to the uh, Nevada-California state line uh, for that earthquake that's coming in right now. And I don't know why the seismograph stations are all offline, but they are uh, for some oddball reason. Uh, let's see. Deep Springs Fault, Fish Lake Valley Fault. This is, uh, if I recall, this area last year had a decent swarm of earthquake activity. Literally a couple hundred earthquakes there with no main sequence, uh, no main sequence of events as far as like a main quake, uh, but that was last year. There's the uh, magnitude coming in there to the Southern California region right now. Barrett picking it up, uh, Mendocino picking that up as well. That's in Northern California, so this is definitely a uh, an upper four. I don't think it's anything bigger. Um, a ways away from population for sure. Uh, but the importance of this is, uh, well, like I say, the one previous earthquake a few minutes prior, and now a 4.8. That tells me right there that things are increasing out here along the plate boundary. That's the San Andreas Fault. We've got to watch this closely here. But, uh, yeah, this area did have some swarming out here last year, and then it just went away. But uh, during that swarming uh, there in this area of California, we had, oh, it was around that time we had that uh Five pointer out here around Bakersfield and a bunch of other earthquakes out here across various fault systems there in Southern California, just pretty much ramping up out of the blue. So we'll see if this doesn't uh, turn into something on a more broad scale type of event. Got to remember here the San Andreas Fault is well overdue along many segments. Maybe not up here north. Uh, the last earthquake there, 1906, San Francisco. It's been over 100 years, um, but I think areas south here along the Parkfield segment. And into the southern branch are well primed uh, and same for the uh, northern end or the southern end of the cascadia subduction zone let's see if anybody's reviewed this earthquake yet it has been reviewed so that's a good sign uh they're sticking with a 4.8 magnitude six kilometers deep for that quake um and uh, again man i wish i could access that I've got 86 stations coming in now um but no uh no station uh data to look at it's a little odd i would say but again it's you know these two quakes they're lighting up pretty much at the same time let's see what we got here for this 3.1 uh this has been well it's still underneath automatic status here check out these origins uh real quick i uh, see now here i can access the stations they went with this one here that's reporting uh, a higher error rate for some reason 
this just goes to show you the uh, the magnitudes that some of the seismograph stations here are picking up. They basically put all these numbers together and the computer spits out a magnitude of this level uh, depending on location and the size of that reading there on the uh, seismogram. But uh, some interesting activity out here. Let me tell you, Western Nevada has been pretty active out here as well. Uh, last 30 days, that's, that's a lot of activity here, quite a bit. Um, Look at this movement northwest of Las, Ve Las Vegas here in the last 30 days. That's been really active. Um, I wonder if that's where the, they did those uh, nuclear tests there back in the, uh, I think it was the 50s and 60s. It almost looks like it's in that zone. But, uh, yeah, a couple different swarms out there around Nevada. And now we got a uh, decent-sized earthquake out here around the deep. I don't know if it's a deep springs fault or maybe even the Fish Lake Valley fault. I do want to double check and see if we got some information on those fault systems there from the Caltech website, uh, which is, I need to adjust this. Uh, is it this one? It is. So I'm looking for the Deep Springs fault. Let's see, this is a pretty neat little layout. <clears throat> That's not on here. So no, no info on the Deep Springs fault system. But the other one, I believe we have a decent amount of data on Fish Lake Valley Fault. Not, not even on here. That's interesting. So not, uh, not going to be able to provide too much information on it. This fault system right here is a fairly lengthy one. It does look like it extends into the uh, Death Valley Fault Zone, which is even uh, further down south here. Of course, remember... Um, these faults here have uh, definitely been active, but far as it producing a large earthquake, I don't recall the last time we've seen something big out here. Let's take a look here and see what we have. I'm going to go 5.0, and we're just going to go back pretty much about as far as we can to uh, draw a little area here on the map of that region of Southern California. And that's going to sit, uh, I believe, roughly, roughly about right here. So we'll just do that. Seismograph stations are offline once again. There's all those nuclear tests out there. That was. Uh, it looks like it's further north of that uh, swarming area. But uh, Fish Lake Valley Fault. Here's the uh, Deep Springs Fault. Looks like back in 1993, a 6.1 earthquake occurred just south of where we're seeing the current 4.8 earthquake, which is roughly about, uh, looks like we've got a little aftershock sequences going on. So right about here, that's going to be that same region right up here, just north of that 6-pointer that occurred back in 1993. But uh, anyway, you know, it's uh, definitely starting to pick up out here in California right now. Got a bunch of activity stirring up. Look at that. Anza station picked it up quite nicely. Really nice. I'm going to do something here real quick. I'm going to keep that uh, reading. It does look like the three-pointer showed up uh, right here in the San Juan Bautista area. Right, That's going to be the previous earthquake, just literally a couple minutes prior to that so that is legit earthquake california you know on the move right now number of aftershocks coming in there as well uh, as far as the did you fill it reports let's see what we got for uh out there in this area of california not a whole lot of population density obviously but a uh, few folks reported feeling some light shaking um see here there's the uh uh, rings there that tells you potentially where the uh, shaking can be felt most likely it's going to stay east there of the sierra nevada mountains it kind of put a block on it um, but uh, maybe around tonopah i'm guessing some folks maybe uh, have felt it no nothing coming in yet but somebody down in fresno looks like they maybe felt it and reported uh, feeling that quake but uh, that's a decent size one we'll uh definitely cover this and more in tonight's update, I wanted to uh, just bring up the, uh, you know, this this movement that's happening right now. Also, another area of uptick is over here across the southern end of the Nankai Trough, getting a little swarming over here once again. 
uh, one of the latest quakes of 5.4 in that area on the earthquake 3d globe it's really showing let me show you guys here look at that swarm of activity even one looks like just on the back side there of the nankai trough this area is well primed for a mega quake and uh, this is the area that the japanese government here put out a mega quake warning for last year when we've seen a similar swarm obviously no big earthquake happened but i think it's getting really close to happening here soon all right, for now, folks, uh, let me know if you felt this earthquake. Looks like they did downgrade it there to a 4.6. Not for sure why. Um, and, that, and that was after it already being reviewed. That's a little weird. No stations there, but now we finally can access the stations. Uh, there's a fairly low error rate. Some stations are reporting up around the 5 magnitude. Quite a few 5s in there. Uh, but for whatever reason, they came up with a 4.6 magnitude uh, as of right now. So again, we'll cover this and more in tonight's update. Make sure you guys subscribe. We'll be back out here in an hour and a half or so. Uh, stay safe out there.